Um, I'm Alex. Today I'm going to talk about school, just like everyone else has done, so no surprise there. School for me has been quite a bittersweet experience, not in the sense that I tasted it, you know what I mean. School is this place where you are forced to learn, and for the sake of being forced to learn, you don't want to learn. You are getting taught stuff, but you don't remember it because it's boring. I think in school you should be taught how to think for yourself and have opinions and all of that stuff, but you're actually just being taught to remember the names of different characters in history. In that case, I think they're teaching us not only in the wrong way, but also the wrong things. Try to remember what you learned in first grade, except possibly um, counting and also reading. It's the only thing you actually learned that you still remember. Like it's really kind of wasted to teach people things that they won't use later when they are pre-teens, because in your teen years you have a lot of things in your brain developing. Your brain has ties that they do. Like, let's take an example, like crawling. Um, I knew how to do that when I was a baby. I was really great at it. Um, but then I learned to walk and I didn't care anymore because um, I can walk, and that's a lot better. Now I only walk, like I never really crawl. Now in my teens, my brain is ripping apart all of these bonds and I am now forgetting how to do stuff that I did and that I don't use anymore. Imagine just for now that you're an alien looking down at the entire school concept and you see children, or you know tiny humans, um, you look down at these people and an exact time they enter a room and they enter the room and they speak about something for about 15 mi 50 minutes all, all of a sudden all of those, these people just leave stop doing whatever they're doing they just leave they walk out the door chat about for like 10 minutes and then they enter another room where they talk about something entirely different it's like going from swe Swedish from learning like grammar to going to, to talking about science what are they doing? why are they doing that? just looking down at it what? What is this? It's so weird! Just, just like imagine looking at it for the first time, all these people just walking around doing different stuff in different rooms. Like everyone does the same thing, it's not that they walk into a room and everyone just does whatever they want to. I suppose to a great question, like why do I care so much about my grades and why do I work so much for them? Why do I get so excited when I get something good and why do I get so incredibly devastated when I get something bad? If I don't even want to be something in my life, like, obviously you should care about your grade, but I don't even know what I want to do. Like I just want to sleep for the rest of my life. Why do I care? I really shouldn't care. I think the difference between being good at something and being bad at something has to do with interest. If you just have like normal wits, you are going to be able to learn mostly anything if you're just interested in it and you try like hard work. That's the thing. You don't automatically learn French. I think that the difference between a good subject and a bad subject really comes down to the teacher. You're not really interested in doing a subject if the teacher is bad. I'm not, I've had a lot of bad teachers. I've also had really, really good teachers. When the teacher knows that you're actually able to do stuff and that you don't need help with everything and you don't actually have to do everything they tell you to do. Like if they tell the class to do, for instance, oh let's do this paper with all of these questions. If the teacher knows that you, you're good, you don't have to do that paper, you can do something else more valuable with your time, like sleeping. I've been allowed to sleep in very many classrooms lately. I remember having science the last lesson of the day on Thursdays, and I just slept like through that entire lesson. We talked about biology, and I just slept every single time. And it wasn't that I was not interested in biology, like I love biology. I was just so tired, like I couldn't keep my eyes open, I just slept. Then I got upgrades on the test because I'm awesome, no, but I, I studied a lot. So I think that many people think there are shortcuts to actually being able to perform, but there is things. Like, you're not supposed to just walk into a classroom and just be able to perform. School is there for you to learn. My school is quite high tempo for the only reason that we do, we actually do like acting and singing and dancing on top of everything else. So we have to take time from the normal lessons to do that. So we have very little of just every subject. Instead, I have dancing. Ooh, I don't like dancing. Like, it's not that I hate it, because I have a really good teacher right now. But most of the time, I just don't like dancing. Because my body doesn't move when I want it to move. I like acting the most. I want to do something sciencey with my life. Not really, like, strictly science. But something, like, something interesting. Just a 